Welcome back to Simply Forex, guys, from the sunny Seychelles. Hi guys and welcome back to Simply Forex, the channel dedicated to you, the trader. We want you to be successful in the markets. So guys, I'm gonna give you some gold every day. I'm gonna let you know which currency pairs I'm looking to trade and which direction. And I'm also gonna let you know which news that you must be aware of. If you like these vids, then please subscribe to the channel and like and share. So let's take a look at the chart and what I'm potentially going to trade today. So guys, this is my office for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm in the Seychelles for two weeks. Uh, and that's what trading can enable you to do, guys. You can trade from anywhere in the world you like, as long as you've got a laptop and some Wi-Fi. And don't worry, guys, I'm gonna send you the daily morning analysis every morning as promised. Um, so stay tuned. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. We've made it to the end of the week. Um, it is the 26th of November. All right. And I'm looking at three trades today. The first trade is the New Zealand dollar against the Canadian dollar. The chart you're looking at is the daily chart. This is the pair that's been giving us nice profits all week. Okay, guys? And even yesterday, we again, we had a, another bearish candle. So I still think we can take price down a little bit further. All right? So our first target is around 50, yeah, 8650. And our second target back down to the low of 8636. Okay, so let's look at the H1 for execution. Um, so yeah, two grey zones, guys, all right? So I want price to firstly um, retrace to this grey zone here, okay? And we will look to take price back down to our first blue line, okay? At around 86.51, okay? If that doesn't happen, then we'll look for a bearish candlestick pattern in this grey zone, okay? And then we're looking for price to come back down to, yeah, the lows or this 51 level. All right, guys. So New Zealand Canadian dollar short today. We're also looking at the euro against the pound. This is the weekly chart that you're looking at, guys. All right. So you can see last week was a huge negative candle breaking these last lows, okay? So this encourages me to take this uh, pair even further uh, to the downside, okay? So we've got a target here of the last low, 8386. But if I zoom out a little bit, I still think we could take price even a little bit lower down to maybe 8352. Okay, let's look at the day chart to see what happened there yesterday. So as you can see, guys, it's been um, bouncing off this grey resistance zone all week. Okay, so I still think it will bounce off this grey zone and we can take it back down to the low. Okay, let's look at the H1 for execution. Okay, so... Yeah, like I say, guys, this is this grey zone that we're looking at. Um, it's the only grey zone that I'm looking at, to be honest, guys. And if you're interested and you're new to the channel and you want to know how I plot these grey lines, my morning rituals and what I do every day to, um, to make this daily analysis, then please, guys, subscribe to the channel and all the information is there. Okay? So, yeah, guys, there's only one grey zone on this pair today. So I'm looking for a candlestick pattern to form. OK, and I will look to take price back down to this low. OK, we can leave some on the trade and take it back down to our weekly lows. All right, guys, if price breaks above this grey zone here, I am not interested in this trade. Yeah, the daily structure could break. OK, so euro against the pound short only if we get a candlestick pattern in this grey zone and then back down to the low. All right, guys. So final trade of the day is the US dollar against the Canadian dollar. 
Um, so we've had three bearish candles for the last three days. Um, I think we can take price down a little bit lower, back down to this level of around uh, 2616. All right, so yeah, looking to short this market. Let's look at H1 for execution. So we've got a couple of gray zones here, guys. First of all, looking for price to react here, looking for a bearish candlestick pattern, and we can take it back down to this low, or we can carry on down to our daily lows, okay? Um, if that doesn't happen, guys, I'm looking for a candlestick pattern to form in this gray zone, okay? And again, a bearish candlestick pattern. I will take price back down to this last low here. This will give us a very good risk to reward on its own, but we can leave some on the trade uh, and take price further down to our daily targets. All right, guys, so yeah, they're the three trades for today. Uh, let's take a look at the news. So guys, a lot, a lot happening on the news today. Um, the United States are closing early today at one o'clock. They're still celebrating Thanksgiving. We had some news come out overnight, this three-star rating of, for the Australian dollar at 12.30 GMT. All these times are GMT, guys. Um, I reckon that would have given the Aussie dollar some strength. That was far better than expected, 4.9%, and they expected 2.5%. So I think that would have been a, a given the Australia dollar some strength. Other than that, guys, the only news we're interested in all comes out at eight o'clock GMT. OK, so first of all, I know this is only a two star rating, but this is the gross domestic product for the Swiss franc. OK, so if this is far better or far worse than expected, then I think this could move the Swiss franc. And also, we've got a three-star rating for the Euro, and the woman, Lagarde, the head of the European Central Bank, she doesn't seem to stop talking at the moment. So she can obviously impact the Euro greatly. Um, and as you'll see, guys, other than that, no news to speak of. Okay, guys, if you've uh, enjoyed these daily morning analysis videos, if I could ask you to please subscribe to the channel and like and share the videos, that would be greatly appreciated. And I hope you have a wonderful trading day and have a great weekend as well, guys. I will catch up with you again on Monday for more of the same. See you later, guys.